Well, hello and welcome to a quick update on what has been a momentous uh, day in Parliament. I've just come from the vote uh, to trigger the general election. Overwhelming vote in the House. Over 500 members voted for it. Only, I think, 13 or 14 voted against, which means we're going to have a general election in about 50 days. That is earlier than I had expected, uh, but nevertheless, that's what's going to happen. In terms of process, um, the House will... Uh, prorogue, which means effectively Parliament stops sitting next Thursday, and the Parliament will be formally dissolved on the 2nd of May. So on midnight on the 2nd of May, I cease uh, to be your Member of Parliament. There will be no more Members of Parliament then until uh, the election results are declared on the night or the morning of June the 9th. Um, there's lots of legislation still to get through in the whatever four or five working days left, but some of the bills will be filleted. Um, the finance bill in particular will be brought down to its bare minimum. Uh, that is just giving the government effectively permission to continue to charge income tax. I'm sorry, everybody. Continue to charge income tax uh, during the election uh, and beyond. And then we'll have to go back to it uh, afterwards and there'll have to be a new finance bill, which is a pity. Uh, because last night I gave a speech on the finance bill. There's some good stuff in there. Um, it'll be appearing elsewhere on Facebook, up here or down there. Um, that speech, hopefully. Um, and you see what I had to say. I'll be coming back to you on Monday or Tuesday next week with more detail about the election campaign. But for the moment, uh, just to let you know that it is my intention uh, to offer myself a re-adoption as the Conservative candidate to the Conservative Association and hopefully with their approval uh, to offer myself as your Member of Parliament again in the general election, as I say, that will come in six short weeks. I like to think that over the last couple of years we've got a lot done um, and the government has got a lot done, um, and I think it's the right time for Theresa May uh, to go for a general election for all sorts of reasons. The main ones, though, are, first of all, she needs a strong hand as she goes into the Brexit negotiation against a newly minted German Chancellor and a newly minted French President. It's a good idea for the British uh, Prime Minister to have a strong mandate uh, behind her. Also, there's quite a lot of stuff that needs sorting out. Um, and that has proven difficult uh, with a small majority. Um, Theresa May needs a, we think, I think, a larger majority to get some of those measures through the House unmolested so we can tackle some of the really difficult challenges uh, that are facing the country, both financially and structurally from an economic point of view, um, as we move into the, the next five years. Um, so as I say, I'll be coming back to you on Monday, uh, but for the moment, um, I've got another five or six days as your Member of Parliament. If you have issues you want to send through to me, by all means do. We'll still be able to deal with some stuff after that, but it'll be more difficult. And I'll come back to you on Monday with what I intend to present to you, uh, hopefully in the general election. Thank you.